What is going on guys today we are in the saints playbook and the formation we're going to be looking at is gun tight offset tight end we're going to look at multiple plays and this is what we do try to keep it under 10 minutes multiple plays from this formation multiple setups and try to go as quickly as possible so thank you for watching all right so the first play we're going to take a look at here is bench bench is the meta killer this is a huge play in this formation truly makes it worth it especially when everyone's running man defense as you can see here we've done some changes we're running a slant with a far outside right receiver us uh, out with the tight end on the inside he does not get quite the break that you get from the left side so you really want to run this to the left side and we're keeping the left side the exact same all we're going to do is we're going to motion snap uh, Landry towards the outside and we're going to be looking for Thomas and if that's covered we're going to come back to Landry across the middle so motion him out like this and Thomas is usually always going to beat that guy especially with the way that routes run so that's one of the best plays in this formation and how we're running it all right so this is the second way we're going to run bench we're going to run bench with circle on a drag, X on a drag. We're going to make it look a lot different from the play set, but we're still looking for the same thing. Creating a variation. We're going to motion them over, have the two drags running on each other with Thomas on the outside and still pass lead to the left side. So that's multiple ways you can run bench, but then get two different results in case you see some kind of zone or something over top of it. The next play we want to look at is Saints in. Saints in is a wonderful play out of this playbook. It's a one hitter turf man with zero coverage. So against the meta defense, if you can find enough time, it's very borderline how much time you're going to get. You can look for the outside right receiver on that little post in to come open. So we'll set the defense up here. Snap the ball. Landry gets a good jam there and he's not going to get across. So I didn't have enough time, but if we were to have enough time, which obviously is the blitz and not what they're looking for. We'll put them two guys on slants. We'll bump them down. Play the man a little bit better. Release than Landry will probably get more separation, but you can hit them coming across the middle. And for one, most of the time, it's going to be a one play touchdown with Randy Moss or Stevie Lamb. And looking at another great play is half bat out swing. And this play here is going to be looking for the tight end coming out to the right side. It's a great outright versus man coverage. Obviously, the meta has been manned so far. We will look at zone a little bit later, but you also get another great flag route from Thomas here. So we're going to just snap the ball, stock play, and look for that out route to come open on the right side. A little bit better speed than someone in Troutman. You're going to get a lot more separation. But as you can see, it's the plays can still be made. So the other option here is always going to be the drag route coming over the middle and the out route coming from the uh, the flag route coming from Thomas. Sorry. So the flag route from Thomas is still the real glitchy kind of flag route, so it's still going to get open versus man very, very well. Obviously, we snap the ball. We can see Thomas. See how he crosses over his face? Now, you got to get enough time. Obviously, time's always going to be of the essence. It's why bench is a little bit better play for looking for that. A lot of times I'm looking for this for man. If I'm looking at a blitz, I'm going to be trying to send it to that out route that we originally did. But then you also could have the drag if put him down. Snap the ball. You can look for that drag kind of coming over the middle and running away from the defender. Obviously, the Saints wide receivers are not the best to be able to get open on this but they're great plays and another one of my favorite plays versus man defense this will be the last one we go over is the pa shot scenes pa shot seems it's almost stock you're just going to block your running back you can even put them on out but we're going to utilize here and you can utilize through your, your playbook is the motion when we motion them over it breaks the ability to press the receivers unless he manually switches all of his guys which he's just not going to have time to do this Alavi route gets almost a speed burst over the middle. And though the user is going to be kind of on it, it's very hard to get across. As you can see, he runs straight across the route. And if he didn't get stuck there, he would have been really, it would have been wide, wide open. But we'll motion him over again. They get in this alignment here. Block the running back. And it's just wide open to be able to come across the middle. And obviously, he's going to have to worry about bench. So you're mixing it in with all your plays that you're going to be running against man. This formation absolutely destroys the man meta right now. Now we're going to start getting into the cover three portion of the video. And the first play we're going to look at is Saint Spot Shake. 
we're going to sit here and we're going to put circle on a straight slant. And if they don't pinch down their defense, and as on defense, you can see I'm not pinched, the running back route is going to be wide open and turn up the field. You're just going to throw it before he does the curl up the field because you want to be careful because he will throw it into the corner. And then the play we're going to be looking to do with this play is the big shot. So we're going to roll Olave out here and Michael Thomas coming up the sideline on the backside is what we're going to be really looking at. So you'd step up in the pocket outside lead and he's right there the lobby route really clears it out and it's basically wide open to be able to throw this ball so we'll do this one more time we're going to put circle on a slant not really anything that's that's critical towards the play of what we're trying to do but we'll rotate a lobby over and then we'll snap the ball circles really there just in case uh, is a backup plan triangle he stayed with the match right there so that really would have been a circle. I really should have thrown If I'm playing in a game, circle was kind of wide open there. But this is a great play to really kind of uh, kill the uh, cover three version of the defense. So we get the slant. We're over here. Well, I should have thrown a circle again. That's my fault. If I'm not a terrible player, you would be able to kind of see what we're trying to do here with circle. Hey, there we go. Made a right read for one time. So that's that play versus cover three. All right, the next play we're going to be looking at is Saint Spot. Saint Spot's very simple. We're going to run Landry on a streak. We're going to be looking for Troutman coming out on the flag. We got a little levels concept over here with the running back and Troutman. So you just snap the ball, cover three. We're looking at R1. Then we can go X over the top if we would like. Um, most of the time, you won't want to try to fit that pass in there if the corner's playing back. You'll kind of want to go towards that running back. Because they're playing so far back, you can kind of yak it up the field whatever you're trying to do. So that's really putting them, the corner over there in a vulnerable position on his defense. And take the yards that we can get. The next play I really, really like to run versus any kind of zone defense, and this is cover three, cover four, um, sometimes cover two, is Saints out. And the reason why I like Saints out so much is because it is running back Texas route. The running back Texas route, I really think is going to make a comeback this year. Um, reason being is yards after catch are just so easy to get. So you could sit here, instead of doing the outs, you can put a uh, triangle on a slant and X on, on the, keep him on the out. And then we're going to get something that once he hits his spot, he can come across. Well, he didn't even run at that time, so it's terrible as that was. Triangle on the slant, snap the ball. You can kind of hit him. You really want to hit him just a little bit earlier than that so that he can yak up the field. Again, that was a little bit too late. And you just want to be able to take your four or five yards, and this is going to make the defense start playing down on the running back position uh, for your other plays that you're looking to do. Obviously, if he does get stuck on that defensive end, do not force the ball as I did. You just sit here and you'll throw it away and move on to the next play because unfortunately, um, you kind of got screwed by a defensive end sticking him. The next play we're going to be looking at is against cover two's PA shot seams. And this is going to be the same kind of as last year where we want to motion out the right side and then we kind of want to hit him up to the sideline. So you want this out route to go towards the right. We have the seam route in X and the the corner over here is going to have to stick circle as he's going up the field we're going to outside lead and hit him right between the safety and corner uh it's going to be great versus cover two the corner just doesn't stick with him that long maybe as players start to get better in the game uh he may be more covered but currently right now he just gets wide open behind that corner especially with the slow hesitation that he does at the beginning Another play I like to run is Saints in. What we're looking to do is hit Landry in between the two safeties. So we run Mike Thomas up the field, straight up the field. We still keep the drags that are going on underneath. Landry comes across as he's coming across the middle. You hit him in between the two safeties. You really want to try to keep the middle field. Um, I'm adding more defenders because I'm only rushing three. But we sit here, put Thomas on a streak. We still got the two underneath routes. If we don't feel it comfortable with throwing over the top and we get sacked there.
So in this case, we'll just block Camara, and hopefully, I like putting him on a check release if I'm trying to block somebody to the left side. So we put him on a check release, come across, a little bit better. So, um, you know, we don't have to put uh, Thomas on the go. We can keep Thomas. Obviously, that created a little bit more space here, so I probably like it better without putting Thomas on the go. In a lot of games, I do put Thomas on the go, just making it look like um, a couple of my other plays, but pushing him over the middle and getting in front of that safety is really what we're looking to do. All right, so now we're going to look at cover four. And the biggest thing about cover four is it tends not to go all the way over to the sideline. So we're sitting here. We're running match on defense. We're going to look for Troutman coming across. It was a terrible throw. But this Y out, um, this isn't Y out swing. I'm sorry. This is, uh, yeah, this is Y out swing. So Y out swing takes this out uh, all the way to the sideline. And that's what we're really looking to do against the cover four, even though it's in match. You see him kind of match over there across there. And he just kind of leaves that uh, tight end wide open. Now, he could run a plane cover for it. That way, you're going to be able to go underneath. Uh, but this Y out swing with the drag coming around on the backside is, is another one that's really, really good. Uh, any kind of drag versus the cover fours tends to be a very difficult cover because the backside uh, corners are the ones that are trying to catch up with them. And then they kind of let him go in the match. And he's basically wide open. So, uh, another thing you can run against the cover four is. The other play we really, really like against cover sword, cover four is the PA scenes play. Again, we're going to run this the exact same way we were at it before. We're going to motion this guy over. We're going to be looking for the speed burst coming across the middle. As he's coming across the middle, people kind of let him go, and you can yak it up the sideline. Uh, that's a huge play for cover four, even when they're in match. Um, there's just a trail defender that doesn't pick up on him. So uh, we'll run a running back on the out route. We'll come back over here again. The cleaner he gets off that line, the more wide open he's going to be. It's just a tough play, especially with the go routes. People are trying to think you're trying to seam them, and you're going to come across the middle with that nice little speed burst. All right, so obviously that's the New Orleans Saints playbook with the um, Y offset, gun tight, offset tight end. And we didn't go over any of the run plays. Obviously, Trap's really, really good this year. It's got a good inside zone. Um you know, you can sit there and run them back and forth. They'll get you some yards, especially if nobody's coming out with the tight front. But man defense, we gave you a little example of what it can do. Uh, we got cover three, cover four, cover two. We can really beat them all out of this formation. So um, it's really going to give your opponent fits. Uh, I think it's a great offensive run. It's what I've been running at the beginning of Madden. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Future content is coming out. Have a good one.